Realism and overdesign. It's a problem that runs rampant with almost all theatrical superhero costumes. You finally get to see the sequel to your beloved superhero franchise only to have the main character wearing this. I mean, it's okay, I guess? I guess? Last year we got to see Tom Holland on screen with Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire all playing Spider-Man at the same time. But the whole time Tom Holland was wearing this. It's gross and it's unnecessary plot-wise and it's criminally over-designed. Why have the character appear in a costume ripped right off the page when you can have them in something Hollywood deems more appealing? Why would a superhero wear a bright red, white, and blue outfit? It'd be unrealistic, despite the fact that we are literally watching a movie about a skinny incel who became super ripped and stopped World War II single-handedly. It makes me wonder if we'll ever see a big company that truly feels like they love the original costumes enough to adapt them in a way that feels fun and classic, yet fresh. FORTNITE! I love Fortnite! I'm tired of hiding it. I'm tired of pretending like Fortnite isn't a fun game. I love V-Bucks. I love microtransactions. Give me your V-Bucks now. Fortnite is actually, I, I, I have so much fun playing Fortnite. I love getting in a call with the boys and, and, and playing some fucking Fortnite. And I played Fortnite for a long time. I started playing around when the Deadpool skin came out and Marvel character after Marvel character were getting added, but I was like, where the fuck is Spider-Man at? I played for about a year until they finally added him into the game. And lo and behold, he looked amazing. I was worried that they were gonna fuck up the design and they were gonna make Spider-Man look off. They were gonna over design him like the mcu and a lot of the stuff he's coming out in recently does but he's just classic spider-man even the blue is shiny to sort of mimic the way that they draw him in the comics the eyes are big and the logos are classic yet fresh it's spider-man just as he should be he looks perfect he looks exactly what you would imagine spider-man to look like if he landed right in front of you and this is something that runs consistently with all of the Fortnite designs. They're fresh with some new takes on the original designs of the characters. They look amazing. Why doesn't the fucking MCU look like this? They look great. And that's what the topic for this video is going to be. How Fortnite designs better costumes for these characters than the actual movie studios themselves that are supposed to be adapting them from the comic. I love Fortnite. That wasn't a joke. I was being completely serious earlier. This isn't like me trying to sing the praise of Fortnite with, with ill intent. I legitimately love Fortnite. I love Fortnite. So the Captain America MCU outfit is one that I've touched lightly on in this video in terms of, you know, contention and voicing my opinion on it. When I saw the Fortnite outfit and compared it to the MCU outfit, there's a lot of things that I particularly noticed that are well done on the Fortnite cap outfit as compared to the MCU cap outfit. One thing I like about the Fortnite Captain America outfit is that it doesn't hesitate to use the color red. A lot of the time on the MCU cap outfit, you'll see a lot of the reds being replaced with browns, like for example, Captain America's gloves or his boots. A lot of the time they'll hesitate to even make the red stripes on his lower abdomen red at all. They're either like a, a velvet red or a scarlet or, a, or, a, or even a purple sometimes. But that's mainly with the Civil War Captain America outfit. The brightness of the colors is really what makes the Fortnite Captain America outfit special. I love how they don't hesitate at all to make the colors bright and they also make a realistic design that yeah uses the MCU style of putting lines on everything with the color. The color makes it more tolerable 
when you throw the MCU's line formula all over it. Another thing I love about the Captain America design in general is that if you just take the part that's on the chest and flip it to the side, it kind of just looks like a flag. And I feel like this is a design detail I wish was preserved with a lot of Captain America designs. Like, for example, if you look at the Fortnite cap design, which I've drawn out for you, turn it to the side, it still looks like a flag. It does have the weird lines tapering across the blue and red and white stripe sections, but for the most part, it still preserves that idea of having the chest part look like the flag. And then you go over to the MCU Captain America, and it's almost like the idea of there being a flag down there has been completely abandoned. It's just these weird red spires. I don't know why they did that when they could have easily added the red stripes. They did something very clever in the first Captain America movie where they made the red stripe straps, which I feel like worked way better than any of the other Captain America outfits, and is honestly, as a whole, my favorite MCU Captain America outfit because it probably looks like the most comic accurate while also being something you look like you would wear into war. And of course, something small I really like about the Fortnite Captain America outfit is that it brings back the white arms. Captain America's earlier years in the MCU were really where he had his best costumes. His later outfits were not as good, and I think the Fortnite design really takes what those earlier outfits do best. They're big, they're bright, and they're practical, and they're not ashamed to wear the colors of the American flag. I think the most important thing about any Captain America costume is that it should be colored just like the American flag. Not navy blue, not velvet red, and not beat up white. Red, white, and blue, as simple as that. America, I love America. Yeah, brother, I love America. Yeah. So we've talked about how Fortnite's gone about taking an unrealistic costume and making it realistic, which is something that's been done before. But let's talk about when Fortnite adds new things to the original design. Venom is one of those examples where he's kinda not hard to do wrong. As long as you don't do anything weird and freaky like add red eyes inside of his like giant white like domes, you're cool. As long as you put a white spider on it, you're fine. Big teeth, big tongue, that's pretty much all you need. And Fortnite does this great. The base Venom itself looks awesome, but then Fortnite also adds this small little detail that I think is incredibly faithful to the alien costume's origins, while also being super cool. He has like xenomorphic scales. He looks like an alien. He looks like he's wearing an exoskeleton from outer space, which essentially is what the symbiote does. And if it doesn't look goopy enough, you have tendrils that fly around it at all times. This is a cool, fresh, and faithful addition. I don't really have an MCU-based example to compare this to, but I can compare it to the Sony-verse Venom. Sony-verse Venom, in all honesty, looks kind of boring. And I mean, to be fair, there's not really much you can do with Venom's design other than what Fortnite has done, but what Fortnite has done is cool. It's a cool design that I wouldn't have thought to add. I don't know, this one's gonna be a little bit of a quickie because Venom's design is really simple. At, at like the heart of it. So this was just really something really quick I wanted to mention. But at the end of the day, Xenomorphic Scales were a very cool and well thought out addition to Venom's costume. And I think this is another example of Fortnite innovating while also being fresh and faithful. So far we've seen Fortnite do two things. Have realistic spins on superhero outfits while keeping them faithful to the original, while also adapting and adding new things to superhero outfits. But what does Fortnite do when they have to completely build a new costume from the ground up? I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't like the Green Goblin's classic outfit. He still wears it in the comics whenever he appears, and I just think he looks silly. Like, I just don't like this outfit. It's odd, it's weird looking, and hasn't aged very well entirely. This is probably the worst aged superhero supervillain outfit ever made. This thing just does not work in the modern day. I'm usually a stickler for when superhero movies just straight up abandon the source material, 
but I feel like for costumes like this, this is my one exception. There may be another costume out there that I'd be okay if it was completely scrapped, but the Green Goblin outfit is one that I will never blame anybody for redesigning. This outfit just doesn't look good at all nowadays. Notice how every time you've ever seen the Green Goblin adapted into something else, they change his costume. Spectacular Spider-Man, the TV shows, Ultimate Spider-Man, the movies. They're always changing him to get rid of this weird outfit. But Fortnite decides to take a lot of elements from the classic costume that's so cheesy. Green and purple perfectly contrasts Spider-Man's red and blue outfit, and Fortnite knows this and keeps the green and purple to contrast. It's a great outfit. It looks great, it looks menacing, and it looks like armor. It actually looks like it would protect the goblin. It still references the original design, despite almost completely abandoning it. You can tell there's love for the source material in this design. For example, the heterochromia in Goblin's eyes? Do you really think a company designing things that doesn't really care about the source material would add small details like that? Also, I don't know if this is the case, but there's sort of like a wire mesh inside of Goblin's mouth, where assumably Norman's mouth would be inside the mask. That's actually the same thing they do in the Raimi movies. I can't tell if that's like a super cool reference or if they were just on the same mindset. The Green Goblin Fortnite design is probably my favorite redesign ever done for the Green Goblin. I don't think it gets any better than this. But I think what makes it so great is that it's not afraid to take a lot from the source material. A lot of the times they just make the Green Goblin green and put him in a weird power suit. Only a few adaptations that I can think of off the top of my head have just straight up kept the purple. But Fortnite does that. It keeps the purple from the classic design and makes something that's faithful while also being fresh. Most of the Fortnite designs for these characters are cool, faithful, and fresh. These Fortnite designs love and care about the characters, some more than others, but you can really tell there is love put into these character designs. They give a shit. They don't want to reinvent the wheel for the 15th billionth time. They just want to make the characters we remember as we remember them. So that doesn't mean dulling down the colors of these superhero costumes and fucking doing all this random bullshit that doesn't make any sense. It means making a costume that's faithful to the source material that fans are gonna love. Some of you may wonder why I haven't covered more than just the three ones mentioned earlier. That's because there isn't really much to note other than a few changes in flares, and that's great. Superhero movies should be doing that. They shouldn't be reinventing the wheel every time a superhero's costume needs to be added to screen. I think why Fortnite is so willing to do this is because it's willing to accept the silliness of these comics. Spider-Man's greatest villain, the guy who killed Gwen Stacy, the guy who's responsible for several murders, wears purple and green. Daredevil can wear a bright red outfit while also subtly getting off on beating the shit out of criminals. Captain America can wear the colors of his flag. And that is why Fortnite will always have better designs.